welcome and thanks for joining us for the latest news and the latest updates wherever you are and where you're tuning in from we are very grateful but kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates uh sources have revealed an earthing faces behind 2021 campaign terror once again thanks for joining us but let's take a quick look into some of these details uh, in our Friday series, we will reflect back on the campaign trail and explore some of the deadliest campaign scenes where supporters of the National Unit Platform Party died at the recklessness of men in uniform. We will look at the security personnel on duty who superintended the killings that characterized the 2021 trial of National Unit Platform presidential candidate Chagulani Center Murobat, also known as Bobby Wine. A lot of people were shot at campaign rallies. Some died in deliberate accidents after being run over by police and military vehicles that violently crushed the gatherings at Bobby Wine rallies. To date, none of the errant commanders has, have been brought to book. The lucky victims survived with lifetime injuries while the unlucky ones perished at the scenes. Their relatives and families have never got justice. Perpetrators still walk scot free as government immunity shields them from facing any legal trial. In this series, we will start with RPC Frank Mwesingwa, the no nonsense radical in uniform whose recklessness triggered the November protest that left several killed in Kampala and Wakiso. Mwesingwa is a married man and currently the RPC of Luka district. He hails from Western Uganda where his own father died upon learning of his errant conduct that plunged the nation into mayhem. Mwesigwa purports to be a Christian and at times frequent the Anglican church. He is said to be a loving father who would do anything to shield his family from harm. Police sources say at the, at the peak of the protest, Mr. Mwesigwa even asked for security for his family when his name featured in media as the spark of the protest. His family was evacuated to a safer haven which was under heavy surveillance by the counter-terrorism police unit. Mwesigwa is armed 24-7 as he anticipates retaliation from the enraged public which lost very many lives. Uh, Mwesigwa uh, is among the man, among the people who are said to have killed 50 Ugandans in just three days. Uh, now sources have revealed who he is and how caring he is. He can do anything to take care of his family and he can do anything to, take, to protect himself from any danger. So if he can do that to protect himself. Why can't he do the same thing to protect others if I told he is also behind the 50 Ugandans who were killed in three days? Uh, we will keep on adding, bringing details of more of these people and more of their faces and their backgrounds and the histories of their lifestyle to you as we keep on moving. Uh, for now, that's all about Mwesigwa. Thanks for watching. We'll keep on updating with more of this. But kindly don't forget to subscribe and turn the notification button for more of these updates.